Woo. All right, back down here. Try to catch one on this uh, this new setup here. Shimano Corrado 150 HG on the Dobbins 734C Fury Series. Let's go. There's got to be a fish out here. Nice. This rod is super sensitive. I mean, I can feel everything down there. Haven't had a chance to fish with it much, but it is really nice. Really good feel to this Dobbins rod. Might give favor to run for their money. I've been using favorite rods lately. The Lunkers TV Edition, Defender Series. And really like those rods. There's a fish. Hell yeah. Come on, get out of there. First fish on the new combo right there. I just felt them bump it. I whacked the camera. So probably messed up the angle on that catch, but sorry about that. I, I hit the camera when I set the hook. But hey, there's a little largemouth. First fish on the new setup. Right there, baby. Nice. Get a little picture for the gram. They're down there. They're down there in those trees, man. He ate that jig hard. That's my first jig fish on uh, Lake Travis right there. My first finesse jig fish. Let's see, what else was that a first of? First fish on the new DC 150 HG. First official Lake Travis jig fish. I'll be honest with you guys, uh, jig fishing is definitely not where my confidence lies. I'm uh, still, still learning the ropes, so to speak. Still trying to figure out I know it's a confidence thing because obviously bass jig is like, you know, one of the best baits ever. But uh, yeah, definitely I struggle when it comes to using the jig. So stoked to get that little fish there on this little finesse jig. Let's see if there's another one down there I want to eat. That last fish was right in the middle of the trees. Like I was in the tree when he ate it. So I came down here yesterday for a little bit to fish with this uh, setup, try to get our first fish, and was actually unable to land anything on the jig. And then before I left, I decided to switch over on a different setup, and I ended up catching a little Guadalupe. So I'll throw that footage in right here so you guys can check that out. This video might end up being uh, a few trips merged into one because it's been tough out here lately but i have been able to pick a couple off so i want you guys to be able to see that i'll make sure i get all that footage included somehow so you guys can check out the catches from recently caught one over there in the rain on the worm and then uh yesterday i caught that little guadalupe come on fish come on right here A little bit of depth right there. It took a little bit longer to get to the bottom, so that may be good. Starting to sprinkle a little bit out here. I don't know if you guys can see that on the water. Little bitty raindrops hitting. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that'll get them going. Which is what we need to happen right now because I haven't seen them. Oh. There's a fish. As soon as I said it, right when I started talking. Hell yeah, guys, look at that. Right when I started talking, he hit it. Hell yeah. What did I say, man? That rain started hitting the water. And I said, sometimes that'll turn them on. And then, man, as soon as I started saying whatever that, that good, good hook set right there through the top of the base. Let's get you unhooked there, buddy. Yeah, man, as soon as I started saying that about the rain... And then about the time I started my next sentence, I felt him knock it. Well, I was finally able to get me one while I was out here. Hey, it's not a big guy, but I'm gonna take it. Been out here working my butt off trying to catch a fish. Finally did. Let's get back out there and catch us another one. He finally ate it on the watermelon candy magnum trick worm. There's a fish. Oh, I had a bite. I had a bite and I missed him. 
for sure that was a fish so I changed it up there and what I started doing was just letting that swim bait fall and then I started picking it up and letting it fall instead of just swimming it straight back so I think I need to be doing that pick it up let it fall reel a little bit bounce it up let that bait swim back down to the bottom oop there's another one I just got another little hit right there Where you at? I definitely had a bite there on that last one. I swung, he just wasn't there. There it is. There he is. There it is. Got him. Nice. Nice. I knew he was down there. I felt him. I just missed him on that first one. That's Guadalupe bass right there. All right, buddy. Later, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Figure it out, man. Let's go. Let's go. Get it together, man. You're free. Later, bud. Dude, they're down there. And this morning we caught that little guy on the jig, finally on the new setup. So feeling good, man. A few bass here lately. Better than getting skunked. No big fish, but hey, at least we're catching some. All right, switching it up to a worm. This is a Magnum Trick Worm from Zoom. Red bug color. It's a new color I'm trying out. Somebody told me about it, so this might do the trick here on Travis. So I'm gonna give it a try. Walk over here to where I think there may be a little bit deeper water. Fire this thing out. I'm using the new combo for this one. Let's get us a fish. Oh, there's somebody's, somebody's line right there. Look at that, look at all this. Next time we come fishing, you get hung up in this and lose your shit. So, always important to pick this up when you find it. Get that out of the ground. Put it right here. And then I'll put it in my truck when I leave. All right, back to fishing. Almost ran out of braid. I casted it so far. Got all the way to my backing. Crazy. Corrado DC, man. The new Dobbins 734C getting it done today. My first impressions on this rod so far. So good, man. So, so good. Oop, look at all this bait right here. You see all this bait moving up? When the small fish come up shallow, the big fish are not far behind, guys. These are good signs to see. I mean, springtime is upon us. It's about to be on about to be on i'm ready to do some bed fishing something i've never done so looking forward to that this spring lake travis really clear water you can get out there and see what's going on we're definitely going to do that i don't care if i have to take the jet boat out to do it we're doing it where was that fishing line pick up this trash oh it's got a bait on it look this is what they're fishing with Look at that thing. It looks like hand painted or something. What is this? What is this? Whose man's is this? All right. There's a fish, a good fish. There's a fish. Come on, baby. Hard bite, that was a good bite. He's on there, come on. Oh, he's not as big as I thought, he's not. He's not a big one, but man, he bit it hard and he's a fighter. Heck yeah, guys. We got another one. That was fast. First cast over here. Sometimes all you gotta do is just change your location a little bit and you can change your luck up. It's another little guy up here eating. That's a largemouth bass right there. You see he's got the black spots on him. Black spot on his tail. I'm gonna take a picture of this guy, let him go. There we go, guys. 
Got us a little black there. He's got some spotting on him. Pretty fish. Hammered the worm. Nice. One more look at this guy before we let him go. Let's get a release here, guys. Let's try to get this one back out there a little more. Oh, no. He was gone. Water's still cold. Let's go. He was down there a little ways, so it felt like a little bit bigger fish at first, but just a little guy. Super stoked to get him. I'll take it. Been saying that a lot lately. That's because I still have fun catching the little fish, guys. Still have fun. Scratched my glasses, guys. Pretty bummed out about that. Second pair of these, Oakley Holbrooks with the Iridium lenses. They are not cheap, not too cheap anyway. And uh, yeah, already need a third pair, bummer. All right, guys, I'm back down here at sunset. Try to get one before it gets dark on us. Let's go. There's a fish. Nice. First cast. First cast. Boom, look at him. He's gonna jump. Nice. He's gonna jump for us. Stay on there. Oh, that's a nicer fish. It's a little nicer fish, guys. Look at him. Hell yeah. I'll take him. Come on in. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is what I'm talking about. That's a little bit nicer fish. Right in the top of the mouth, the roof of the mouth. That's what you want. First cast out here at sunset, guys. Beautiful looking fish. Look at the pattern on that guy. Nice. Down here at sunset, first cast with the worm. Let's get it. It's a beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Whoa. Hell yeah, they're hyped up. Let's get it. Down here at sunset, first cast with the worm. Let's get it. First cast with the worm, guys. That was nice. He was a fighter, and that was the best fish that I've caught down here in a while. So, pretty stoked about that. Just like the fish earlier, he ate it hard. They're hammering. Let's go. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one, guys. Two casts in a row. Two in a row. Awesome. Oh, yeah, he's a fighter. Come on, that's two in a row. They're down there eating. Let's go. Two in a row at sunset. This guy's a little smaller. Let's get a release on this guy. Come on, buddy. Go the right way. There he goes. He got it figured out. They're down there munching. Let's see if we can get us a third fish. That would be nice. That's the fourth fish. Uh, Wait, fifth fish that I've caught today. Been a while since I caught fish. fish. Ugh, can't even talk. I'm so jacked. It has been a while since I have caught five fish in one day, but we're doing it right now. We caught several fish on the new setup. It's holding up great. It's keeping the fish pinned. The new rod feels super sensitive. Really nice, loving it. All right guys, back at the house now and that's gonna wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed watching me catch those fish. I know I had a good time catching them. The fish are finally starting to bite around here again and I've been able to go down there to the water and catch a few on camera to share with you guys. One thing I do wanna mention really quick is that if you're considering purchasing a Shimano Corrado DC digitally controlled bait casting reel or a Dobbins rod or if you would like to find out how you can get any of the other gear that you see in my videos, please go down below to the description. Check those Amazon affiliate links, help support the the channel click those links go buy something go buy anything it doesn't even matter if it's the products featured anything you buy through those links will help support us here on the channel i appreciate you guys so much much love thank you so much for tuning in today it means the world to me that you guys take time out of your day to watch one of my videos if you enjoyed yourself, go down below, click the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe so that you catch all my future content. I'm constantly creating and constantly sharing things with you here on the channel. Fishing, filming, vlogging, whatever is going on with my life, I tend to share it here on the channel. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.